Live in the Past and Future Tense is uh, quite removed from my previous work. It's an album that's made up of acoustic songs, some of which were written nearly 30 years ago and some written more recently. In 1993, after finishing my jazz studies, I moved to London and started playing in funk bands and was quietly learning how to write orchestral music. Um, I was also very interested in songwriting. At the time, I, I had some songwriting skills, but I wanted to further refine them. So I, I started hanging out with songwriters. I joined a few pop and rock bands and, and you know, it was really enjoyable working with them. I had respect for them. I was intrigued by the way they wrote lyrics and wrote their music. Um, I suppose the music was uh, relatively simple compared to what I was used to, playing these sort of rich and textured chords that you get in jazz and, and my exposure to classical music. But it was a discipline, and I wasn't there to really explore that. I'd already done that. I wanted to learn how to write lyrics and, and, and good songs. Another inspiration for me was a friend uh, of mine from Wales called Gerald Waters. and We knew each other back in Wales, and then we ended up both living in London. We used to share our songs. He'd play me his and I'd play him mine. They were still sort of newly formed in development and we sort of give each other pointers. But he was also um, an avid reader. So every time I used to go and visit the house, he'd, um, he'd sort of lend me a book. At the time, to me, they seemed quite obscure books, uh, titles such as um, Centennial by James Michener, Hawaii, um, David Karp's One, Children of the Universe, Homer von Dietfurth, and uh, Carol Chapek's War with the Newts. In fact, one of the songs on the album, Wildfire Islands, is based on Chapek's War with the Newts, um, about the conquest of the human species by oversized salamanders. So it's a really interesting story. It's sort of a historical allegory and it was quite fun writing lyrics uh, centered around that idea. Carry the opening track on the album is called Forage Miser, and uh, uh, this piece started out as a very simple guitar finger picking idea. And um, every time I'd play it, it would, I'd add a new part and section to it. time it developed and manifested into a complete piece of music where I added um, a melody and lyrics and later on orchestral instruments so there was quite a transformation there I found it really really wonderful to work with Shannon he gave me the feedback that I needed. He wasn't afraid to tell me if he wanted something different. I really appreciated sort of knowing exactly what was expected of me and how I could improve it to bring his vision to life. The scars that you have left behind They haunt our minds and souls awaken I'm quite used to working in harmonies as I was a choral singer, but it was a completely different type of harmony, I think. And I wasn't just doing one voice, I was like lots of voices, and I had to try and isolate them in my head and things like that. There's lots of um, really, really interesting intervals happening. Um, and I found certain sections of the song, I had to think about, I had to think about it in terms of the actual notes I was singing rather than 
sort of singing it quite intuitively. Another challenge I found was I love vibrato and um, Chen and Wendy it sung very like sort of straight so I had to almost retrain my voice in a way. My approach to writing lyrics for this album was quite different. Four of the songs are about tried and difficult relationships. Glow Through Darkened Skies tells the story of two people who have very strong feelings for each other, but are unable to express those feelings. Every time they meet, it's very strained, and there's a lot of restraint there. Um, he is enamored by her character and intoxicated by her scent, and she has admiration and respect for him, but he's significantly older and they're also in existing relationships, so it's, it's an impossible relationship. Um, and the age difference and uh, cultural references are irreconcilable. Living the past and future tense is also about a relationship, but it's an existing one. And one of the partners is living in the past and the future as a way to avoid living in the present. And it may be a familiar theme with uh, some of you out there. No one is doubting your sincere. Learning Shannon's music was very challenging and very interesting as well. Um, I think that um, it was a very patient type of process. He gave me space to be myself, but also giving me directions towards what he wanted for the song. So we had a lot of back and forth sessions of you know, deconstructing chords and melodies, things that I wouldn't quite understand. Uh, so Shannon would just uh, transform something very complex into something very simple. And I was able to do things I wasn't able to do before. Hold your head high. someone who's very intuitive and tends to be a bit impulsive when it comes to singing and trying to just go with the flow of my own feeling but of course the song belongs to somebody else uh, and that person has a goal for the song uh, so when it comes to harmonies and melodies so Shannon tends to be a bit more direct and has a very like um, specific way of seeing things. Some of the other narratives on the album are less conventional. For example, the last piece, um, Dark Robe, has to be one of the darkest pieces of music I've ever written. It's a choral piece for 16 singers. It uh, draws inspiration from the landscapes of Wales, the mountains and the valleys, barren and volatile, yet quite beautiful. There's a ghostly presence in the, in the form of a, of a woman with a long, black robe. Her robe touches the ground as it drags the stones and dust through glory. At the end of the song we're in doubt as to whether any of this exists and the narrative starts to question our comprehension of time and space.
There's one instrumental piece on there, a solo acoustic guitar piece uh, called Yvonne. Yvonne was the name of my mother, who died uh, a few years ago. Um, she was very much a woman of substance, um, diligent, determined, and would never tolerate mediocre achievements from herself or from anyone else. So that's been an inspiration to me, especially in, in my development as a musician and to some degree as a person. Thank you. 